This simple flying video was made possible by Surfshark, the best VPN available for frequent flyers. As a viewer, you can get 83% off and one month extra for free using code SIMPLE at the link in the description below. The Airbus A380 Palace, the plane that never was. We've covered many different types of the Airbus A380, from the A380 Freighter variant to the A380 Plus or Neo, depending on what decade you're in. But we've never talked about the proposed private Airbus A380. Introducing the A380 Flying Palace, literally designed for a king. Airbus has a somewhat secret menu of its aircraft business. Essentially, you don't have to be an airline or a government to order an aircraft from the plane maker, and if you have the cash, you can order any of their aircraft models as a private plane. Airbus has been quite successful in this market and has sold around 222 private VIP variants of their lineup from A220 300s up to an order for five private A350 900s. However, there is one platinum option on the menu that has never been built, the private Airbus A380. Airbus lists the option on their menu as the Airbus ACJ380-800. The aircraft would look essentially the same as a commercial A380 on the outside, but inside it could only be described as a flying palace. We've all seen private jets on movies and TV shows, this A380 is something else. Starting from outside the aircraft, you'd enter the plane through a suspended lift under the main wheels. This lift, with glass walls no less, would allow access up to all three levels of the aircraft with a spiral staircase wrapping around it. Level 1 of the plane, normally the cargo hold on a commercial aircraft, would instead have two main sections. The first would be the garage to transport one or two luxury cars. After all, you didn't just fly halfway around the world to travel in someone else's non-diamond studded car. The second section of the bottom deck features what is described as a wellness room. This room is lined with carpet on the walls, big sofas and a giant LED TV screen on the floor. This TV screen is linked to the high-resolution cameras looking straight down to give you the feeling of flying over the landscape. Scented breeze is also pumped into the room to complete the effect. On the main deck, or level 2 of the aircraft, is where you'll find the business centre of the plane, as well as the crew facilities and cockpit. Entering through the grand lobby with the floating spiral staircase, you'll be able to access the two conference rooms. They each have holographic tables, which in 2009 would have been very futuristic, that can project holograms of business partners via video chat. Next door is a concert hall, containing a stage, grand piano and seating for 10 viewers. From here you can then reach the 20 VIP suites, not the master cabins mind you, these ones are for distant cousins that are very much like what you'd get on board some of the very best first-class airlines. There's also a prayer room on this level that allows peace of mind no matter what your belief. On the top deck is where the five master cabins are located. Each has a king bed and a private bathroom and shower. There's also a small lounge on this level to relax outside of your room and a dining room somewhere in this mix, but the plans don't make it clear where. It's something very special and there's nothing like it on the market yet. There is everything a billionaire could want, said DesignQ's co-founder Gary Doy to the Daily Mail. We're not trying to put a hotel in the air, it's tailored to the needs of flying and has unique features that fit into that. The Turkish bath is particularly spectacular, a steam room with marble, low lights and lots of spa treatments to choose from. Looking over the numbers, the aircraft would be built to accommodate 50 guests and would be able to fly a range of 17,500 kilometers or 9,400 nautical miles. That's an extra 1,400 nautical miles compared to the original A380. VPNs have exploded in popularity over the last few years as they allow you to disguise yourself online. Navigate the web securely and safely while having the ability to change your browsing location. It's an invaluable tool for anyone that loves to fly. Before we continue, I'd like to mention a few reasons why we love Surfshark. Stay safe while using public Wi-Fi whilst you travel. Protect yourself from data theft, tracking, surveillance and commercial targeting. You can change which country you're accessing the internet from to access and unblock content such as your favourite TV shows and films that are only available in your home country. Did you know flight prices change from country to country for the exact same routes? With Surfshark, you can check the prices for the same route whilst browsing different countries and score a great deal every time. What's even better is that Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account to use on an unlimited number of devices. 
everyone likes a free trial flight, so why not give Surfshark a go? Use the code SIMPLE to get 83% off plus one extra month for free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk to try it out for yourself. The link to sign up is in the description below. Now, back to the video. With a price tag of over £300 million, it was certainly not affordable for the average person. But there was actually one order. His Royal Highness Prince Al Walid bin Talal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia ordered the aircraft type back in 2007. Prince Al Walid's order means that Airbus's sales success in the corporate jet market now extends from its smallest aircraft, the A318 Elite, all the way up to its largest, the A380 Flying Palace commented Airbus Chief Operating Officer John Leahy in 2007. Alas, for an unknown reason, in 2009, the Prince never came to take ownership of the A380. It was sold on to a commercial airline and never got fitted out with the opulent interior. For those worried, the Prince actually already owns a private Boeing 747, so this A380 would have just been the icing on the cake. Airbus doesn't officially have the option to purchase a private A380 anymore, since the production is close to shutting down. But there is still a slim chance to retrofit an existing A380 with some of the concepts outlined above. With more and more A380s being retired into the future and few buyers, maybe you still might have a chance to make your dreams come true. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.